We vacuum. I clean probably about every two weeks. We dust. I try to do a pretty thorough cleaning. But despite our best efforts, dust always comes back. I really don't want to know what's in dust. The researchers did want to know. What we tried to do was just try to get an idea of how much of the dust in the home comes from outdoors. That could be potentially contaminated versus indoor sources. Paloma Beamer analyzed data from three dust studies, then developed a computer model that looks at the source and the toxicity of dust and just exactly how it gets into the house. We were able to demonstrate with the model that we developed that um, about 60% of indoor house dust comes from outdoors. Which explains why the studies found poisons like lead and arsenic in some homes. It's not at levels that are considered to be hazardous to our health necessarily. Not yet, but you do need to get rid of it before it builds up to dangerous levels. Where does the other 40% come from? There's also, you know, organic matter sources like skin shedding and animal hair and food particles and fibers from our clothes. So here's what to do to reduce allergies and poison dangers. Dust with a wet mop instead of a dry broom. Use a HEPA filter vacuum. Leave your shoes at the door and change your air filters regularly. It makes you look at dust in a whole new way.